I'm Marlene Ogawa from the Synergos Institute and I manage the social connectedness program that runs in Southern Africa. Um, we focus on working with our partner organizations and train specifically care workers within these organizations to understand social connectedness so that they can work differently with children. The care workers come from the communities they, they work in and often the children they work with are often vulnerable poor children who desperately need help and support. So what we do is we run workshops and in, in different um, interventions with the care workers to help them understand social connectedness and also identify their levels of strength and resilience so that they are able to do better for the children. Being socially connected means that you have relationships that are meaningful, that are great quality relationships that build your inner strength and resilience because you connect with them in a particular uh, way. What I hope to get out of the symposium is to get a sense of how people measure social connectedness. How do we know that we've made the difference um, in the lives of children, in the lives of care workers, in the lives of communities? What I really want to share is the different ways in which we've tried to address social connectedness, both at a program, a policy level, as well as in practice and how we do our day-to-day -day activities with children, with the people we care for. And what I've learned over time is that social connectedness happens, of course, at a personal level and at a community level. And you have to live it to be able to do it. And to build connectedness, it starts with ourselves. And you can't, as an individual, remove yourself uh, from the work that you do um, in the communities. I think the future of the movement is each one of us finding meaning in what social connectedness means within our context. And within those contexts, we find ways of growing it. And what we know for sure is that it looks different in different spaces. But for us to grow this movement is really to also begin to speak similar um, language around it. Um, and in terms of the similar language is what is it that resonates with people that helps them to understand it and then to take it forward. And it makes better sense to start from small and grow it out. So the pockets of communities and spaces that we work in and, and interact in, that's where we have to start. And that's how movements are bold, to start from the small and grow it. Um, so that people understand it um, and live it and grow it in that way. There's research that shows that loneliness is going to be the next public health issue. And if that is the case, there's so much we can do right now to connect people, to change the outcome for children, the outcome for young adults, the outcome for communities. And if we remind each other that we need to be connected because we are social beings, we are human beings, and we depend on each other in a way that should connect us, that will make us a successful nation.